potential energy. In physics, potential energy is the energy held by an object by its position with respect to the reference object. That is the potential energy. The potential energy is the one of the kind of mechanical energy and the common forms of the potential energies are that uh, gravitational potential energy, electrostatic potential energy, elastic potential energy, like that these all are the common forms of potential energy. Now, in case of potential energy, by virtue of the position or configuration of the object, whatever the energy possessed by a body, that we called potential energy. Statement of the potential energy. How potential energy is stated? The potential energy of a body is the energy possessed by a body by virtue of its position. Now, examples. The first one is stretched or compressed spring. Observe here. Stretching of spring, compressing of spring. Whatever the energy stored in the spring is the potential energy. Here. The energy is stored in the form of potential energy. Now, second example. That is water stored in a overhead tank. This is the tank. In the tank water stored. The energy of this water is potential energy. Why? Because with respect to the ground, water situates at certain height. Position is there. Due to that position, whatever the energy possessed by the water in the overhead tank, that we called potential energy. Now, expression for gravitational potential energy. Gravitational potential energy is the one of the common form of potential energy in this. Let us consider a body of mass M is on the ground at point A. Now, we are going to lift it vertically upward to B point through a height H. Now, we are going to find the work done first of all. Work done by the lifting force. Here, the body mass is M. Its weight is Mg. This Mg is acted downward. Now, we are going to lift it up. Means, the applied force F must be in the up, upward direction. The applied force F must be in the upward direction. That applied force at least equal to weight of the object. F equal to mg. Means a constant applied force is acting on this body to lift it. For constant force causes a displacement S. The work done formula. The work done by the external agency against the gravitational forces. You know, for a constant force, what is the work done? W equal to F, S, cos theta. But here, displacement to applied force both the same direction. That theta is 0, cos 0 is 1. Means, F into S is the work done. W equal to F dot S. What is F? F is the external agency. Nothing but applied force. Equal to weight of the object. F equal to mg. Yes, displacement is equal to h. F is mg. S equal to h. These two substitute in the above equation we get. W equal to mgh. This work done to lift this object stored in this body at here as potential energy. Hence, this work gets stored as potential energy of the body. So, the potential energy of the body is usually potential energy denoted with letter U. Then, U is equal to mgh. This is the potential energy. 
kinetic energy is half mv square. Always kinetic energy is a positive function, positive value. Whereas potential energy, by depending on its position and configuration, the potential energy is may be positive or negative. The potential energy can be positive or negative by depending on its position or configuration. This is about a gravitational potential energy. What is the formula for gravitational potential energy? MGH. Due to its position, what is the energy possessed that we called as potential energy? The ball is at certain height from the ground. The energy possessed by this ball is potential energy. This one. The next one is the potential energy of a spring. Let us observe these pictures. Here spring, massless spring whose one end is connected to this vertical fixed support. To the second end a block of mass m is attached. When the block is at O point, the spring is at its natural length. That natural length position of the spring is called equilibrium position. Now, you pull this block by applying some force along this direction. Then what happens? There should be some extension produced in the spring. That is x. X is directed along this direction. Now, the figure showed one end of the massless spring attached to the rigid vertical support and the other end to the block of mass M, which can move on a smooth horizontal surface. Now, this position indicates equilibrium position. Here, when the block is at this position, it has a displacement X. That is nothing but the extension in the spring. Now, let x equal to 0 denote the position of the block when the spring is at its natural length. We know that thing. In an ideal spring, the spring force Fs depends on x. Already in Hooke's law we studied this one. Fs is directly proportional to x and Fs and x are opposite in direction where x is what? Displacement of the block from its equilibrium position. x equal to 0 to certain position block displaces. That displacement is this x. Now, this force law for the spring is called Hooke's law. We know that. And its mathematical expression is Fs equal to minus kx. K is the spring constant or stiffness constant. X is the displacement. What this negative sign indicates? F is always opposite to displacement. That is indicated by the negative sign. The constant K is called the spring constant or stiffness constant. What is K formula here? K equal to F S by X. Negative sign just indication of direction between F S and X. Numerically, k equal to fs by x. fs, force. In SI system, force is measured in newton. By x, displacement in meter. The SI unit of spring constant is newton per meter. And is measured the stiffness of the spring. It measures the stiffness of the spring. That's why k also called as stiffness constant. Now, the negative sign indicates Fs is always opposite to change in length, opposite to displacement. To calculate the work done on the block by spring force, as the block moves from undeformed position, what is undeformed position? Equilibrium position, when the spring is at its natural length, x equal to 0, to a position x equal to x naught. Now we are going to calculate the work done. For small displacement dx, the work done is considered as dw. Then the dw is equal to force into displacement. Force fs, spring force into displacement dx. This dw is equal to 
what is f s minus k x hooks la dot d x this is the work done for small displacement d x but we have to stretch the spring from x equal to 0 to x equal to x naught what is the work done by the spring force we are going to calculate means we have to integrate this equation within the limits of x 0 to x naught x naught x is 0 is equilibrium position means spring natural length x equal to x naught is the extreme position in between this we integrate this equation then integral dw is the w is equal to minus k x dx integration is x square by 2 after li limit substitution it becomes w is equal to minus half k x naught square this is the work done by the spring force to stretch the spring by x naught elongation this work done is stored as potential energy that is the potential energy u is equal to half k x naught square. Potential energy is half k x naught square. Now, the work done by the spring force is always negative. W is minus half k x naught square. And in terms of x, minus half k x square. If the block moves from some position x1 to another position x2. The work done by the spring force is w equal to integral minus kx dx limits are x1 to x2. That is we get after integration w as half k into x1 square minus x2 square. What is this? To elongate the spring from x1 displacement to x2 displacement. Work done w equal to half k into x1 square minus x2 square. Hence, the work done by spring force depends on initial position, final position of the spring. This is about potential energy, gravitational potential energy and potential energy of the spring. MCQs a body at rest can have kinetic energy, momentum, both momentum and kinetic energy, potential energy. Rest, position is there, means potential energy. For kinetic energy, it requires velocity. Momentum, velocity is required. Momentum is mv. Kinetic energy is half mv square. Momentum and kinetic energy both depends on velocity, but it is at rest. It has position. Due to position, the energy is potential energy. This one. Next question. Two springs A and B are identical, but B is stiffer than A. When both are stretched by the same force, then more work is done in case of which spring? First spring or second spring? A or B? A, B, both nothing can be said here a why because b is stiffer than a due to that for a for same force f is same then more work is done in case of a two springs a and b k a is 2 k b are structured by applying Forces of equal magnitude at the four ends. If the energy stored is in A is capital E, then energy stored in B is. Try this problem. Answer is 2E. How it comes? Energy half kx square. U is equal to half kx square. Kx again write as F. So, same energy you can rewrite as u equal to kx into x by 2. kx is f half fx. Half into f into x. But here formula contains k terms. Means f square by 2k is also 
the formula for energy stored in the spring. Use that formula and try this problem. Now let's do problems based on potential energy. The question is, a tank of size 10 meter into 10 meter into 10 meter is full of water and built on a ground. If G is 10 meter per second square, the potential energy water in the tank. Potential energy of the water in the tank we are going to find. What is the volume occupied by the water here? 10 meter into 10 meter into 10 meter. 1000 meter cube. This 1000 meter cube volume filled with water. Then density of water we know in SI system 1000 kg per meter cube. We are going to find potential energy. The given options are following four. These are the options. Now solution. What we are going to find? Potential energy. MGH. Here, mass not mentioned directly here. But volume is given. What is volume? 10 meter into 10 meter into 10 meter. In terms of volume and density, mass is taken as volume into density. Into G into H. Now, is equal to volume is 10 into 10 into 10. Density of water. 1000 kg per meter cube into G. G is what? 10. What of height? Height actually here 10. But center of mass onwards we are going to calculate. Exactly center of mass locate half of the 10 meter. That's why here 5. Then is equal to 5 into 10 power 7 joule. This is the work run is stored as potential energy. That is 5 into 10 power 7 joules is the answer. The next problem. When a spring is compressed by 3 centimeter, the potential energy stored in it is U. When it is compressed further by 3 centimeter, the increasing in the potential energy is further compressed by 3 centimeter means initial onwards. 3 plus 3, what is total compression in the final case? 3 plus 3, 6 centimeter. Now, how much potential energy increased when spring compression changes from 3 centimeter to 6 centimeter? That we are going to find. To calculate that, here the options are mentioned like this 4u, u, 2u and 3u. Solution. Now, here we know the potential energy formula. Half kx square. When the compression is at 3 cm, the corresponding potential energy is considered as u1. That here in the problem mentioned as u. For further 3 cm means total 6 cm, corresponding potential energy is taken as u2. The difference of these two is the increasing in potential energy delta u. Now, Substituting of formulas. U1 half K is the spring constant. What is X? Initial compression 3 cm. 3 square 9. This is U1. This value 9 K by 2 is given as U. Now U2. U2 is what? Half K. What is final elongation? 3 plus 3 6. 6 square. 6 square means 36. This is U2. Delta U is U2 minus U1. First U2 value in terms of U1 to write. You divide U2 by U1. Half K 36 by half K 9. Means 4 will you get. U2 is equal to 4 U1. Means here the increasing in potential energy. You do minus 1 on both sides. Here U2 by U1 minus 1 is equal to 4 minus 1 3. U2 minus U1 is equal to 3 by U1 goes to here as U1. U1 is nothing but initial energy that is U. 3U is the answer. This one is the option.